With the Falou system, as with any denture setup, the most important and critical um, first step is to set up 6 through to 11. And this is a procedure that is not done with any of the Falou mechanisms. This is done freehand. However, there is the incisal table to help us with the setup, and I'm going to utilize that and show you all how that works. The mold that I selected for the patient is a Mondial set of teeth. You can also mix and match though. You can mix and match with the premium line of teeth that uh, Falou has and Herrera's Colza has. And this one is, is R420. She has a trapezoidal, trapezoidal features to her face and so do these teeth. And they're absolutely gorgeous teeth and uh, looking forward to setting those up. So this is done freehand. So we're gonna set, start the process right now. Now Charles was kind enough to go ahead and make a second base plate. Just in case something goes wrong, we've got the, uh, the previous base plate to help reset any cast as needed. If you have a look at this articulator, Charles set up the incisal setup table with a little bit of sticky tape and scribed it with a lead pencil, indicating the midline and the rough position for the incisal edges of those upper maxillary anterior teeth. We're going to start off with the maxillary central incisor. You can pick any one you like. We're going to start off with number nine. There are a couple of landmarks that I'd like to share with you in setting up maxillary anterior teeth. By far, these are the most difficult teeth to set up, and they take the most amount of time. Probably the most critical, critical position in three-dimensional space for the central incisor is the axial position of the tooth. The gingival third of the tooth needs to be quite prominent. And the reason for that is lip support that the patient receives from their prosthetic does not, is not derived from the flange. It does not come from the flange. Lip support comes from the position of the tooth. The tooth provides the lip support. And it's not the incisal position of the tooth that provides the lip support. It's the, it's the center and the gingival third of the tooth. Consequently, the axial inclination needs to be such that the long axis of the tooth is pretty much perpendicular to the occlusal plane that you've set up for the patient. And I'll illustrate that once the tooth is set up. It takes quite a bit of tweaking and positioning of your front tooth. The front two teeth take the longest to set up. If you have a look at the axial inclination, it's pretty much perpendicular to the um, occlusal plane of the patient. So that's the first tooth. Prior to going on the next tooth, seal this one down. One of the things I'm going to do right now is I'm going to fill the flange with wax. I'm going to fill all the voids with wax. And part of the reason for doing that, it helps spatially in verifying the position, the, the correct position of the front teeth. It also helps to seal the tooth in position. Now we're going to set tooth number eight. 